Blessed love, greetings. I know it's the ganja. I love what I do and do what I love, you know. I'm is grateful. Such a blessed day today. You're the house of Judah. In which way I'm going to show you how you can make some money off you. The first thing first, I'm sitting here on some peppers. You can come a little bit closer, big up high high behind the camera. Yeah man. Show them the pepper them. that and how long pepper take for reap now I I pepper is a three month crop you know, and every week you reap you know all right so kings queens whether you're in a farming or not plant some pepper seed three months time you have pepper you can sell so that's one way blessed love another way how to make money living off grid so what I'm gonna have here are some banana see even though the breeze blew it down because I'm never planted good. So it go on here one beginner. When you plant banana, how deep you plant it? I, I? At least one foot to 18 inches in our ground. Hillside 18 inches better. Okay then. So that means the deep yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. do that. This is what I'm showing them what go on I, I. Yeah, see the jump out of the root up there, sir. Yeah. So mm. this now is a banana. A banana normally grow a sucker. Come here, I, I can show them a sucker. This is a planting tree, however, the banana yeah. tree is funny. This is a planting sucker. Yeah. Yes, sir, it's perfect. And this right here is not a banana sucker still, but the same way. Look, this is a planting sucker, this is a planting tree. Yeah. So this now, a planting. You can plant planting, and how long it take for you? Grow aye aye? Nine months? Nine months to one year. Nine months to a year. So kings and queens, you can get the sucker them, buy the sucker them, plant them. When them shoot, you cut them. Bring them to the market and you earn your bread. Yes, I. So, what I'm gonna have here now, kings and queens, this is yam, you know, yam vine. Mozilla. Mozilla yam. And Mozilla, how long it takes for growing on the earth, aye aye? Them take richly one year, nine months, said we. Show them the bank. Yeah. Yeah. The bank, yeah. And this one right here, show them this here. Yeah. This, this uh, St. Vincent. Alright. You know, see, it, it takes generally six months. Them way there, you know. All right. So that is the next way you can plant and get yam. You reap it and go to the market yeah. or wherever. And what I'm gonna your kings and queens are some corn. And next quick crop. How long you can reap corn for all? How long it takes to grow and reap? Three months. Three months. Yeah. So I man, they say that's some corn right here, so still, and so you plant them. How you plant them, I I? You generally plant them in some holes, like a farrow. If you farrow it, you can plant them one foot apart, like sink. This right here, yeah. like this right here, yeah. like that right here. Yeah. Sometimes you can plant two or three in a hole. So, kings and queens, next week you can earn living after it. Plant food and eat. Blessed love one and all. And what I'm gonna have right here, right in front of I'm gonna do away. Are some pine trees, you know. I'm gonna plant them for a while, I can't remember. How long it takes for reef um, pine eye eye? Well, generally, the new seedlings them take a while. The old one them are just one year. Stay up them just come Why? every year. I'm like, the new seedlings they make I plant them for a while still. Yeah, man. Them yeah. are young suckers you plant, man. So yeah. they more take a while. But any which way. Yeah. As I and I say, you get what I'm gonna say? Mm. You can also plant pine, reap it in a year time. You can plant more than this. I'm gonna this plant this just because I have the sucker them, you know? Blessed love one and all. And right here is I'm on bean fence. See so this fence here? All of these here are beans. They grow and run on the fence. And the beans them look like some peas looking thing. This one here, this one are cow peas. And that one here grow 
faster than the other beans, you know. I man just do the fence here and we we'll have beans that run on it already. So beans that thing now, everybody want beans, just like peas. Yeah. So you just plant them in quick quick time how long them take aye aye? Yeah, all three months time you see bean and beer man. Cow right. peas. Quick. Yeah. All of these are yeah. quick crops and we is out to yeah. make money. So kings and queens, it's very simple. Plant and reap. Head to the market, head to the city, wherever you want, and sell. You don't just come easy, you know? You have to put in work. Anyway, to kings and queens, I'm gonna come link up with Aya over here, so as I'm on that's earlier planting field, switch the camera. Yeah, man. So all of them are now see kings and queens. We are going over here, Aya. Out the place, drop some wheat, yeah. And I look how them are going. All right, I don't know. Plant them, and you know, to buy next year. Every month, man, I'm taking some pictures out of them. All right, yeah, man, they yeah. look good. So that kings and queens, you know, over here, so they look and I ain't not done yeah, with over here yet. It's a movement, you know, yes, I will be past two and by half, just find a planting wall, yeah. You know, any other thing we grow about, yeah, we find a nice little spot. Yeah, man. We have a ear of a grow, you know. 18 inches circumference and depth. And you have a nice ear of a plant, a plant. All right, aye, aye. You know, we live half grid and we do the thing different. We are bush people, as we then call it. Zin, we that tell a king or a queen right now, we want to go half grid and we is how to make money living half grid. Well, with me now. Yeah. In Jamaica, yes, I. There are things that are in demand, ever in demand. Yes, I. Vegetable, mm -hmm. and the staple like planting, yes. banana, cocoa. Me and staple them Irish, carrot, uh, vegetable, them thing, them is in demand. Yeah. Them is in demand. So you don't know, you have to go forward and prepare. The them thing, you plant some corn, you plant some pop chow, you plant some carrot, you just plant some little things and you will go and make some fun. Alright. With crop, okra, corn, tomato, sorrel. You know, see, so within a certain amount of time, you start with a little food in your pocket. And in your pocket, you can put some next morning, you know? Yes, sir. And pay some bills or buy some things that you need. Yeah. You know, see, so generally, it's a three month thing in your farm before you can eat, you know. Yeah. You don't know, see, at least you have to spend four months before you start eating. Alright. So, so it's very simple. Mm -mm. You can't go big. Yeah, Take your time. Your yeah. Mm. So, kings and queens, I'm not even showing you. <laughs> so as well. I'm not even showing you these. We have some punk in here. I do them thing as well, you know. Yeah. As I'm going to say, over here, so. We just clean out over here and do some planting. More yeah. dirt over here and you know these are pure stones. So we end up just dig up where we can get some dirt and plant. But all of these stumps when I look pan, I tree will cut down. I will just cut them out. Burn all of these things. Continue the fencing go right down and you know. Plant some planting over here so I'll be able to plant in walk and thing, you know. But why do you want to come live like we? Study and if you can come across a book named Key to Better Farming, yeah. it is a old Jamaican farm book. Yes, sir. If you can come across it, it teaches a lot about Jamaica climatic condition and yes, all of those things. You have to know them something. The book I got to tell you the moon cycle, the phase it in, and when to plant underground food, yeah. when to plant above ground food. So, all of these are ways and tips how you yeah. can start doing your thing because I get this question a lot. How I and I survive? Yeah, man, that's the will of Ja Rastafari. When I'm gonna have pepper, I'm gonna bag them up and go sell them. When I'm gonna have whatever in season, I'm gonna go sell them. So, that is how I'm gonna do it. Aye, aye. Take time, put in, and you will take out. Okay. You know, and as my mother said, one, one cocoa, fully basket. Alright, so kings and queens do the right thing. Big up all farmer. We are farm and all of who are plant on the plow up on the pretty pretty flowers garden. Take up all of them flowers there and put food in the ground. Cause what to come, kings and queens are gonna want food. In the make no sense to run deer and deer. 
for food when you can't get none and all you have to do is plant a seed. So big up all farmer out there. Yes sir, we give thanks, you know. It's a blessing man. When you can plant something and it grow. But I just want to tell the kings and the queen them something. I don't know who need to hear this. But it's sometime on your journey and everybody are gonna make it with you. Some people you have to leave them alone and most of the time the people that you love the most and closest to you, you have to leave alone, you know. So change sometimes means you have to change who you surround yourself with. The majority of the time of them people you stop with from become who you really are supposed to be, you know. So change up your circle sometime. And I'm on this truly grateful, you know, with them a little board house. So this board house here, yes kings and queens, this board house here now, I'm on blood, sweat and tears business, you know. I wanna say blood, sweat and tears. I man build this from nothing like cutting down the tree. All of these boards you're looking at, I man have to carry them for I man head. There was no road at the time. So I man give thanks. It's sitting this tree right here. It's a sweet wood tree. And this one here is a cedar tree. Yeah. So it's sitting in a tree actually. And I man no plan for cut these tree no time at all and these limbs then go and grow and hug up the house just like that so that's how you're going to create a perfect tree house you know i'm on just letting you all know i'm on have a video on youtube where i'm on it post for a long time so you never really go with youtube guidelines so i'm gonna have to pull it down but it was a great video so i'm on just take out why i'm on the need to take out and put it back so today is kind of a blast from the past kind of day you know so stay tuned and just go and check out this video while I'm on walk around and do some work with I.I. I. Ja, that's the fire. Up to this day, you have Michael Angelo Uncle Portrait. It's an egg in our houses. This blue eye man with long hair, with him skin clear and white, and then call him Jesus. Majority of the stuff that we do are things where they thought. To our forefathers, they were taught by fallen angels. When the most I cast the fallen angels them from out of heaven, them come here on the earth and them teach man how to make sword, them teach woman how to put on makeup. Not because I do yoga. Mean you're spiritual, not because you do tarot cards reading, mean you're spiritual, not because you meditate, mean you're spiritual, isn't it? Don't get this thing confused. Spirituality is a, is a personal relationship with the most side, you know. Banana planting and banana, mango peas, these are all cocoa trees. Because the most are living in all of us, we have to look in ourselves. We can't look to the man, the other woman, they have to help we see God. No. And that's what most Christians, are not going to say Christians, churchians, are do. They must go to church to find God. No. And that's how it go. You have to make the pastor read the Bible to you. No. And that's how it go. You have to read it for yourself. I know they have some rotted rainfall and Yeah man The one in the kitchen So it's like a strainer you know So I'm gonna have to catch One Two Three Four bucket Yeah man but We give thanks Show us a blessing you know I have some guy who look like I, talk like I, and do everything where I and I do. There's a lot of wolf in sheep clothing out there, so we have to be careful. So this is why I'm on use for the house. School can give you wisdom. Universities can give you wisdom. Colleges can give you wisdom. You have to get wisdom from the most side. Ja! Hail to the Lord's anointed. Hey, they were greatest son. <clears throat> Greet 
things. I'm on the bad river side there, I want a little fresh up, you know. And today's reading is from members of a new race. I'm just gonna speak a little part about spirituality. The temple of the Most High begins with the human body, which houses our life, the essence of our existence. Africans are in bondage today because they approach spirituality through religion provided by foreign invaders and conquerors. We must stop confusing religion and spirituality. Religion is a set of rules, regulations and rituals created by humans which were supposed to help people to grow spirituality. Due to imperfection, religion has become corrupt, political, device and a tool for power struggle. Spirituality is not a theology or ideology. It is simple, a way of life, pure and original as given by the Most High of creation. Spirituality is a network linking us to the Most High, the universe, and each other. So, that will stop confused religion and spirituality, you know? We we'll give thanks, man. Greetings in the name of the Most High. Ja! Rastafari. Give thanks. I'm on there, I hold a little vibe and I son and I recharge, you know? I'm a little sage. See, you don't leave I and I are inching up kings and queens. We're supposed to see that by now. But I and I never want a dog with stock eyes, so yet. Good thanks, man. And if you really want to know what true love is, give yourself a dog. Most loyal thing, man. Dog, we risk their life here, you know? Yeah, all a little vibe of kings and queens. I enjoy the scenery. Just like give you thanks, you know? Like all the time. But you don't know we have to give thanks to everything. It's another day, you know? Yeah man, whenever I feel up, I will up, you know? Give thanks. Inside. So I know I have a little thing that been weighing on my mind. Not because I do yoga, mean you're spiritual. Not because I do um tarot cards reading, mean you're spiritual. Not because you meditate mean you're spiritual, isn't it? So don't get this thing confused. Spirituality is a is a is a personal relationship with the most high, you know? Yeah man. Don't get it mistaken. And religion, it, it's supposed to be something where make the people them better and love each other and understand the most high and walk in a righteousness. But due to greed of mankind and and, and unfairness. Them use it as a weapon, you know. So you have some of us that say um Jesus. We have some some of us that say all kind of name. You know, you know the whole thing go, you know. And since I and I there, so the sun I get riper. Let me take the topic inside. So stay tuned, Ja Rastafari. Yes, I. So majority of the stuff them we are do this day. I think the whole grow comes to with forefathers are do. And our forefathers are where them grow comes to feed them forefathers I do. So majority of the stuff them we are do are things where they taught to our forefathers and they were taught by fallen angels. When the most I cast the fallen angels them from out of heaven, them come here on the earth and them teach them teach man how to make sword. Them teach women who put on makeup. Yeah, I'm not bashing anyone. I'm not prejudiced. I'm not here to bash anyone. It's not, I'm not about that. But just letting you all know. The makeup a fallen angel come here on the earth. Come teach the women them about makeup, you know. But I and I say a lot of things where we find ourselves I do. We not even know where it come from, you know. And we just do it because we see the other people are do it our we are do it because we say we mother and father or grandfather, you know, or great grandma do it. So yeah man, I and I come to the overstanding. I man used to wear I wait there. I and I used to wear the stones them and the gem them, you know. Not everybody's what you see with chakra stone them spiritual either. So we have to know what we're doing. And as I and I say a lot of things were taught by fallen angels to our forefathers. So I'm not really wear I'm on stone anymore because I'm gonna get the full overstanding say them also did wear stone and use stone do evil stuff. 
You see me, there's always good and there's always bad. And majority of the people who use stones are witches. And when I say witches, I don't talk the woman them on the broom. I talk people who we worship the other god and, you know, them teach we people for do what they do and we not knowing. As I say, the tarot cards is one of them. I don't bash anyone either. And I do some research about it and finding out that the root of cards it come from an evil place, you know. And as I say about the whole makeup too. So I am not bash anyone about none of this. I'm just saying as it is. And with my stone now, I don't really wear it anymore until I and I, I will get some proper proper education on it. Because sometimes we cast, we do some things not knowing we're 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 calling we're calling other entity to a soul. We are we are draw negativity to it, not knowing because we see this person with tarot card and I read it and it and something probably happen and you know you you you, you can't do that man. You can't depend upon a person input or a person point of view for make you feeling of yourself say yeah me right because a person I feel so you get me no man we, we, we're not supposed to do that you see me so the tarot card thing do some more research on it. it it is not a good look be careful what we're doing and calling it spirituality the yoga most people doing yoga these days is not even the right way even yoga are one of them you have to know what you're doing all of these things that come from Falling angels, you know, so there's good and there's bad ways in everything we do So you have to just know what you're doing Because I have some guy who look like I, talk like I And do everything where I and I do And there are still agents of Lucifer There's a lot of wolf in sheep clothing out there So we have to be careful what we're doing, you know Spirituality is within, within the self, you know Finding the God within you, because the most I live in all of us, we have to look in ourselves. We can't look to the man, the other woman, they have to help we see God. No, and that's what most Christians are not going to say Christians, churchians I do. They must go to church to find God. No, and I saw it go. You have met the pastor read the Bible to you. No, and I saw it go. You have to read it for yourself and pray to the most I. When you read it, figure your wisdom, cause school can give you wisdom, universities can give you wisdom, colleges can give you wisdom. You have to get wisdom from the most high. Ja. Yes. So let's look more into the things that we are do. And feel like it's spirituality. Spirituality is a network linking us to the most high. The universe and each other, you know, walking in the right path. Yeah man. Up to this day, you still have Michelangelo's uncle portrait that egg in our houses. This blue eye man with long ear, with him skin clear and white, and then call him Jesus. Up to this day, you can find it all over the world. It's it just so much, you know. I don't have anything about Jesus, you know. I'm just saying the person who they must say is the most I <laughs> get me. Is, is, is Michelangelo's uncle. Yeah, man. That picture there with that blue eye man there. Yeah, man. It, they all over the place. So, the most known picture me at all. Yeah, man. It's Michelangelo's uncle picture. Yeah, man. We stop, look for that and take them down off. Of, take them down out of our house and place, man. Because we don't know what we are called for ourselves, you know? Look within to find the most high and spirituality. Yes, kings and queens. In other news now, I know they have some rotted rainfall and a lot of people have too much pride and ego to show this but it's not always fun and nice living off grid you know so yeah man that I want leaking right there and I'm gonna bed this so one more right here so that's a catch that and that one over here says like a pipe no Yeah man, and I want in at the kitchen. So it's like a strainer, you know. So I'm gonna have to catch one, two, three, four buckets. 
Yeah, man. We give thanks. Show us a blessing, you know? Yeah, man. Yeah. So, I, man, definitely I come before the item ask for your contribution, you know? I, I, I ask for no arm and a leg, but anything that I think can get the eye, if you know, I, 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 I go and tell you the truth. So, I, man, they can get wet few nights straight. So, I'm gonna go work on the roof and the plan why I'm gonna have in mind I just want to buy a, a big tarpaulin where I go cover off the wall of this and I can go up there and put it over the zinc them because the zinc them never go on 100% because I was planning to go up again but long story short I and I want to put the tarpaulin over it then get the bamboo not the bamboo then get the coconut tree limb them and plot twist them away so whenever even the rain fall it no leak if it even do leak it drop on the top all in and it no come through so i'm gonna look at donation you know so, okay, and i buy a top all in to fix that leaking problem i'm gonna put one first top all in over it never big enough so let's see i want a next top all in to come over here then I put on the top of it and I go and put some little strand on it so you it take less rain. Yeah man, give thanks. I'm on solar. They say action it shall be given. So I'm gonna come before that and let her show it, let her turn around the camera. I show her straight. The bus up, you know. And I don't want to wait till it bust up to try to replace it. So I'm gonna look at donation from now. This is what I and I use to power the house of Judah. This is why I use my blender, my light, charge my phone, watch my television. You see the kings and queens, it a bust up, you know, and I man want to replace it. So I'm gonna look at donation. Yeah man. Look up to everybody we contribute to the thing. And I help out the thing from day one, you know. Give thanks man. Yeah man. So this is why I'm on use for the house. And as you see, I'm on have what, two bars this so. Yeah man, one and one a bling. So it's a charge. Yeah man, kinda of protect it from the sun. To give thanks. A blessing to wake up in the rise into this, you know. So what I and I have planned for the day now, I'm on. I go full out these beds. I have one, two, three beds. I'm gonna have some manure. Okay. I want to use the manure and just full up all of the bed them and then do some transplanting and planting in the future. Yeah man, so let the manure go and soak in the soil, you know, to get more nutrients for whatever you plant in it. So I'm gonna go take on some work, you know. Yeah man, I'll show you the manure. Yes, kings and queens, I see it here one, two, three, four bags of manure. So I'm gonna go do now. I'm gonna go just move them bag of manure. Yeah? I'm gonna full up in a them bed there. Run the so you know. Just stay tuned. Ja. That's the bar.
Yes, kings and queens. That is it, you know. The time I show the walk on. Yes, I. So whatever tree I man left is probably either a pepper tree or a sweet pepper tree. I man have a pepper tree here, two pepper trees, and I want planting tree I grow this. So, so yeah, man. With the manure I and I just spread, you know, so that I go give the soil more nutrient for whatever growing night, you know. That is a while not growing there. Yeah, man, have you more iron than the Kalalu, I call it the Kalalu cousin, you know. Yeah, man, but this is what I man do. To show no what I go on. And we down here say, so you know, kings and queens, I man can do some planting on this little variety here too, you know. You see, I drop a one coconut tree right there, so recently over here. That's why I'm gonna plant a tuna tree there, so tuna tree I grow right there, so I give thanks. And over here, it's been a while. Banana planting and banana, gungo peas, gungo peas, gungo peas, and all of them tree right here. These are all cocoa trees. This I give thanks. Banana tree I grow again. Planting. Give thanks. Yeah man, then call it star fruit, aka jumbly. And this is what I man just do, you know. Even though I plan to put all my compost night because I want this bed also to be my herb bed so I and I go I get my compost right there and come through it in this it's been raining for two days straight and I give thanks yeah man still have a few peppers sweet peppers sweet pepper them are ripe up and thing and I man just do this just now as well you know and this is actually I man what third time plowing this bed each time i plow this bed i never end up plant nothing night but i definitely go and plant some corn in it and i did throw some corn in a in a iman compost i'm gonna go use them candy and just plant them out in this bed because i noticed this bed have a lot of stones inside of it so you can't do plant any any tree in it you know the stone them are gonna burn up the root and kill the plant but with the corn now yeah man, the corn is a survivor. Yes I so I'm ungrateful for the for the sunshine and I'm ungrateful for the rain, you know. Can't complain. So the plan is to do right now is I'm gonna go get the compost right here and put it inside of the herb bed. And with this bed right here, kings and queens, let us show you what I'm going. With this bed right here, I'm gonna go remove all of these tree will leave inside it and transplant them i go and move all of this from right here right here i'm not going to let it be any more bed because i'm going to do some work up here and try to level off all of up here you know do some work see what you have to say to the people eh? all right yes kings and queens so this is i and i compost all banana skin, all peels, and this is a sweet, 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 sweet pine. I man eat the other day and blend it up, you know. And I decide say I go and plant it back. So, yeah, man, I go and put this right here, so for now, and I man go and plant it shortly. Yes, I let us see if I can show you the can now. Yeah, man, I did show a can. Yes, I see it, yeah. Kings and queens, pure sour fly and I, you know. Now watch it. Pure sour fly and pure thing, but this can now, they notice it has shoot some little root. See it there? I'm gonna go plant them here. Yeah. We'll give thanks. And this now, I'm gonna go put it inside of that bed right there. So stay tuned, kings and queens. Ja! That's the fry.
Yes, kings and queens. Just show no hard going, you know. Yes, I. So with the compost mixing with the manure, this is the final result, you know. Yes, I. After about a few days out of sun and probably some more rain, I'm going to do some transplanting after a few more days. So we we'll give thanks, man. Ja! Rastafari. And see, what we have to say to the people then? Alright. Yes, kings and queens. So I'm going to head to the river, you know, go all a nice wash off and all a vibe. So stay tuned. Ja! Rastafari. We we'll give thanks, man. So until next time, kings and queens. Ja! Thank you all for your love, contributions, sponsors, donations, and support. Link up the Ganja Tours on Instagram for an awesome adventure to aid in this development. Or feel free to donate and contribute no matter how small the amount is. And I is truly grateful, thankful, and humbled. And if it wasn't for y'all contribution and help, I and I wouldn't reach thus far. Do good, stay good, eat healthy, and do what's right. Stay prayed up to the most high, have faith, trust, and believe. And don't do what you love, but do what you love. Ja, Rastafari.